if you want to respect the video game industry and respect the people that worked on those games and, and all that, it, they need to be kept alive in some way, in some sort of fashion. You see Best Buy and Walmart saying they're going to go to, uh, move away from selling physical games. Yeah. I want to talk about game preservation. And I would love to hear your thoughts on game preservation, how important it is, because it just seems like there's thousands, uh, tens of thousands of games that are going to be lost to time uh, because we don't, we never had physical copies of them. Yeah. They never were dumped online. I would just love to hear your thoughts on game preservation. That's a, that's another good reason for emulation, right? When it, whenever there's, whenever there is the point where all the original people that worked on the game no longer can make any money from it, um, if the company has gone under and they're no longer selling the game, or it's just going to go out into oblivion, um, just, just yeah, keep that emulation going. You're, it's it's like MST. Uh, 3k with circulating the tapes you know just keep that alive keep it going because look there are some really amazing artists out there that helped create some of this stuff and it's it'd be it'd be a shame for that to kind of go into obscurity have their work go into obscurity like that and generations from now maybe um they touch somebody in some way because this random game that they made that just kind of went into oblivion somebody just discovers it and it's just crazy to think that they could affect somebody, you know, generations down the line, but that'll only happen if it's still preserved in some way. The physical is obviously makes it easier, but even these carts, you know, these NES carts, they're going to rot away at some point. So if, eventually everything's going to have to be digital if you want it to be preserved. So I, I, I really do. Yeah. I think that that's, that's super important and it's, you know, I guess in the grand scheme of things in life, it's not too terribly important. But if you're, uh, you know, if you want to respect the video game industry and respect the people that worked on those games and, and all that, and they need to be kept alive in some way, in some sort of fashion, just like movies and music and everything that people have have created over over the century. Yeah, I think of with movies, you look at these movies that were uh, produced 100 years ago, right? And they go back and they look at the film and the film is all rotted and it's it's corroded and it's yeah. gone forever, right? Which I think makes it that much more important to look at these games from, you know, the Atari NES, you know, era to make sure that they are, you know, most of those games have been digitally, you know, uh, digitally digitally ported over they're available to pretty much if you want to play a game you could you could find a way to play a game mm -hmm. but the games that have been released i think of uh like starting on the xbox 360 maybe playstation 3 era where yeah. there were games that were just released just for those they were exclusive to those consoles maybe on the wii i go back to um there was a a, a set of games on the wii uh that konami put together they're called the rebirth games the the contra rebirth games i think there was mm -hmm. a blaster master rebirth there was all these rebirth games and they're just gone like you'll never play these games again and there you, you may be able to watch them on youtube you may maybe but you'll never be able to play them again um because they i don't i don't i'm pretty sure they were never emulated it would be really cool if there was some sort of industry standard that was that said you know, or some sort of industry handshake agreement or rule book, because these are private companies, you can't exactly, you know, make sure. them do something. Sure. But some sort of handshake that said once a game is developed, once it's done, there's a uh, a digital copy available to it, you know, after, I don't know, whatever X many years, uh, you know, like a, almost like a giant archive that is just, that's just there. But uh, yeah, that'll never happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah that. because yeah i mean because as you said they, they you know it's it's all these different you know private companies who 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 just may not value it in the same way some of them will obviously some of them will but some of them are not going to value them in the same way as you and i and they're just going to be like well i'm just we're just trying to make a buck who the hell, who the hell cares so right. it's it would be nice but i guess it's a pipe dream it is. It is. It is a, totally a pipe dream. But what do you think about this? Leave us a comment down below. We read every single one of them. Also, make sure you hit the subscribe button because you have found your home for common sense in the gaming and entertainment worlds.